Hey, welcome back. Uh, back to doing these uh, weekly bourbon reviews. I mean, I haven't skipped one, but uh, I did give up my Sunday night live stream, so I was going to switch over uh, with Clouds and Stouts and do a pre-party for them. Uh, Drunk Philosophers, Clouds and Stouts every other uh, week. Uh, but I did hand that off because I have to get back to doing these VR 180 videos on Sundays. But this is Monday. It's my last Monday. I'm going to have to get off work and work all evening on these things. But let's get to reviewing a bourbon right after this. All right, guys, today we have Duke. Uh, this is Grand Crew Founders Reserve. Uh, got John Wayne's picture there on the back in a little suit and tie. Uh, Duke uh, is uh, one of my, mine and my father's favorites. Uh, I call it a fruit salad, a fruit bomb. Um, the regular Duke, let me grab that bottle right quick. It is right here. And this has the, uh, this is one of the older bottles before they changed the design. So this has, uh, John Wayne on it right there with his uh, cowboy garb and his little uh, repeating rifle. So, uh, but this one is a little bit different. I'm getting a phone call. Let me cancel this thing. I'm trying to, I will uh, cancel it on here. There we go. So uh, this one is actually a, uh, uh, it finished uh, in uh, Grand Cru French Oak. Uh, barrels. So this is uh, very good stuff. You can see I've already opened it. I normally try to bring these reviews to you without opening them, but I was so excited when I first got it and I was doing a stream about uh, going to Tennessee and visiting uh, with some other YouTubers there. Uh, met up with Marty from Whiskey Nose. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to him, please do. Uh, very, very good guy. Uh, does a lot of great stuff. Uh, uh, around whiskey reviews. So let's pour a little of this here. Uh, Bourbon Bounty et, uh, etched logo glass. And I'm not going to pour too much. I had a rough one last night. Um, but I have cleared my palate here all afternoon. So I am ready to give this a proper review. Like I said, I tasted it, but I didn't review it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Very dark amber on this. Um, you can you can see it's a it's a darker amber, and that's probably picking up from those uh, French crew barrels. So, um, yeah, good. The legs are starting to the beads are starting to develop a little. Oh man, that nose on this thing is just outstanding. And I'm not normally a huge fan of finished bourbons. Uh, but this one is just fantastic. Now, of course, it's got the regular old uh, Duke, but this is the Founders Reserve here. You can you can still pick up some of those fruits coming out in there, but not like the regular one. This is a lot darker noted uh, here. This is this has raisins and plum and. Oh, wow. And it's just, it has a very, very wonderful nose on it. And it just, my mouth is watering from nosing it. Now, this was a little bit pricey, and I won't, we're, we won't worry too much about that. And this was the last bottle they had. So this is, pr if you find one, grab it, grab it. All right. Legs are really nice on this. Good, thick trails. It's running really slow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the tongue wet here. Not gonna give too many notes, of course, on that first sip, but I can tell you it floods the palate really well. Um, and those darker, dark notes, the, the, the dark notes come through, you know, the, the thicker, oh man, the viscosity on the tongue. It's just, this is amazing stuff. Um, but let me go on ahead and uh, now that that initial shock is out of the way. Mmm. Lovely, very, very good stuff. I'll get to giving you some notes. 55%, 110 proof, so. Um, uh, and you can see how dark that juice is in there. Uh, very good stuff. Um, 
yeah, the molasses, the plum, the raisin, but there is some pepper back there uh, on the finish, long finish on this thing. Good leathers, tobaccos coming through, well balanced, but there is a lot of notes in this. Mm. Yummy. I have not looked up the mash bill on this. I don't even know if it's posted anywhere. Um, it just says crafted from nine year old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey and finished in French oak wine barrels. <coughs> Excuse me, bottled in 2018. Original recipe 1962. Uh, founder John Wayne, founder and blender CVR. Uh, have not read up on, on on this. You can see I have over 100 bourbons behind me, uh, but I will get around to uh, uh, doing more research on Duke because uh, th this is just fantastic. Mm. Wow. Yeah, really, really well balanced. And um, the finish on it, it lasts several swallows for sure. Um, man, that, and that leather kick, and I give away that 24 note nosing kit. I guarantee you, if you open the leather, the raisin, the pepper, the black pepper on, on this, you would pick up those notes and they're coming through rather boldly. The tobacco would be a softer note that you would get, um, out, out of that nosing kit. And, and if you, you're wondering about the 24 note nosing kit, I do a giveaway show every Thursday. I do a quarterly giveaway. So once every three months, I give away a 24 note nosing kit, three sample bourbons, a virtual private tasting with me and one of these uh, bourbon bounty logoed snifters uh, to, to taste uh, the bourbon with. Uh, and I mark those bourbons A, B, and C and I give uh, what I consider to be a beginner bourbon, a, a medium intermediate bourbon, and then a more advanced one. This would definitely be on the advanced side uh, of the bourbons that, that uh, I have to choose from. Uh, but you know, some of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, uh, the uh, uh, 201903 Country Ham from Booker's, uh, I have a Bellmead Cast Strength Reserve from 2006 up there. Those are the more advanced bourbons that I would include in that, but let's focus on this one right now. Mm. Yeah, there's some spices coming through as well, a little all spicy kicks here and there. I mean, this is just fantastic. Uh, so like I said, if you, if you can find one and get your hands on it, um, I think this one was around a hundred bucks uh, for the bottle, uh, but prices vary geographically and, and the availability is also gonna vary uh, wildly. So, but if you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend it. Guys, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off as always. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell down there for notifications and I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.